confronting. And um, the uh, ongoing trial, uh, well, the suspect for the murder of uh, uh, MPP Chairman Mahama Gregory Afoku, Afoku has been refused bail by uh, another high court uh, following him being granted bail by another high court. You've been talking about it with Eric Yawaje in Takrani. Take a listen. And welcome to the Daily Rant. My name is Eric Yawaje. Several news outlets have been awash with the court case involving Gregory Afoko, brother to former national chairman of the governing NPP, Paul Afoko. Many in unison see or have suggested that recent pronouncement by an Accra High Court appears to be unconstitutional and a blip in the country's much touted democratic credentials. Others have gone ahead to suggest that there appears to be some form of coalition between the executive and the judiciary on how that court case should travel. Do you feel the same? This is the Daily Rant. Let's keep talking. Aban one more four good years. There, Abrantia na bonbia wa ye bi ahwihwem na prosecuting four good years. Into me ye, esi dan na kwodo na echi nimpa no to baby fakor, on hu na busia, on hu na ye. Oh ye, deliberate abuse of the human rights of Greek royal. Even the military regime PNDC days in 1966, Ukuwa ukoto kam waba ya na zipo yanti dami pe yinse mi. The court waba mo ruling high court. The one mo be bail. We meet bail conditions ni nara. This is not law. This is abuse of the law. How can high court waba mo be bail? Na eje minka ako a different high court. The one crash. The principles behind every democracy is rule of law. Uh, if the rule of law is not properly upheld, human rights are going to be abused. The judiciary is, an, is, a state, is, a, is one of the arms of government and they must be seen to be doing what they are supposed to do and serve the interest of the, of the general public. But if they are doing something which is not in tandem with the constitution, we have to deal with it as it is. I believe that the chief justice and her, her authorities or the people she's working with have all what it takes to uphold the rules and regulations of this country. If the judge gives the bill uh, the, the right for the person to be given bail and the bail conditions has been, has been satisfied, the person should be allowed to go. But once the person is still kept in the, in the prison, or prison or the police custody, then the person's human right is being infringed upon. The judiciary, you know, because of some of these uh, mistakes and anomalies, you know, yeah, well, in the do, in the do, in the district court, uh, yeah, call be a, a high court. You see, judges know, yeah, funny day, as a moral court, no, when you, what they you for forward, happening. but you look at a seminar or be no, depending on the pacono, the prosecutor, no, ne uh, arguments. You see, even though the court has grant, had granted bail, it, yeah, they didn't bring it to the attention of the judge. Insofar as the court has had granted the bill, they should be on that bail condition. Say they they never be full of being wonder. They must wonder what deny them in the park or no. They must right no because it yeah. We, uh, we we cannot tell as at now Michelle Danim the full a year on my judge you know to be convinced to review that because it is not something that ought to be done. You see, there might be something lost within there because it is not normal for a high court judge to to grant bail now without any special circumstance. A, a, a different one will review that bill condition. Freedom of movement is the biggest in anybody's life. That is why a constitution you know, will protect the human right and the dignity of every Ghanaian. A foreign we respect your dignity, not less a person than a Ghanaian. A Ghanaian, yes, or a suspect. You yeah, now go through process for four good years in your four months with the state apparatus, security, resources, do investigation and prosecute. Four years. While I back at there, you didn't find any evidence that the person has been implicated. In the journal, a journal we are arresting the bill. 
Onono Joy Attorney General, who is a politician. Point number two, Mamo Biala and Trenifie on her TV. No, Dada, no. The judges we have in Ghana and everywhere, they are human beings. They can make mistakes. You were genuine mistakes. You were deliberate mistakes. Onono Tina Nkrofu Wajisika no Wotum Wama Atancho. A child, when you move that way, you on yet, but there will be influence. Imagine that man out here, na k k k k k na you to be aba. Na we start the war broad lawyer that we we, we suspect. We na ko, we court is why we come when we don't hear we when jano. Police is there when jano and there when jano or china. That is lawless state. Justice Jones Jones Doche of Supreme Court made a statement in the election petition at MPP Duko Court in the year 2012 that every democracy or every country is in, every democracy is always in a development stage. So in one way or the other, we can make mistakes. Once, once, once the mistakes are done, what? the people themselves who make the mistakes are supposed to go back and make the corrections. I'm sure that a ruling way better, a second ruling better, one, one, one recent decision. One of what's now is I mean high court a case, they have heard what the public is saying, what the learned people are also saying, that they have made a mistake. And let's, for me, my brother, channel from that angle, as we speak, do you know that the lawyers of Gregory Afoko has cited the police and uh, CID, IIGP and CID for contempt? Ah, ruling, ruling, please, ruling is scheduled to come around 23rd or 24th of this month. So, for me, the rule of law is still at place. I'm also surprised that the lawyers allowed, for four months, the lawyers allowed the person to be in for four months. That's my mention, I say. No, 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 The lawyers have to take the policeman and constitution or is there any person who infringes upon that your right. That's your right. You can take that person on. It is not, it damages and everything will go against that person, not the state. But that person is also acting for and on behalf no, 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 of the no. state. That person is not acting in line with me duties. It's CCI Yetina and that police in Yibi, Oba, Obecho. Unlawfully, you can deal with that policeman in that civil aspect. Until personally, Nipa or denying the demo right, you know, then they can go after uh, those persons or that person. Somebody don't want to respect the human right of Afoko. Hey, you can hate or love him. The rules says that going through some process and the lawyers one so around the work of in the police station well, they went to court now court you him no one many bail nobody on this earth can understand for a good month the police will still hold on to such a person tell me honestly so be around my police for no other sir and can would they keep the person in the police says for four good month Let's be hypocrites and sit here and pretend. Yes, we might guess that somebody did that. But when that policeman is being chased, you see, when that policeman is sued and being chased, then he will come and tell us, there, or your baboon, ah, obino you know. You understand? Somebody who has sworn, there, about protect in Kofu on right. Somebody who have sworn that you ensure that you do your work diligently and impartially. Not say Emma Obisha was no one can say yes, You are not a human being. That is also I, I the main understand. reason why uh, I IGP on this CID. Mm -hmm. They have been cited in a contempt. Mm -hmm. Ah, really nearly by 24th. But you see, for me, I still stand by what I said that we are not in a lawless state. We need to uphold the rule of law. And we cannot How can we, we cannot uh, uh, blame the president or the vice president or anybody if the people themselves have committed the problems. We should take them on. The Supreme Court should be able to come in and, if possible, quash whatever high court, the High Court has done and grant Gregory Afoko the bill that he deserves. So that moving forward, if the state has any case against him, for me, they were saying that the reason why they, one of the reasons why they gave the, the, the recently the decision was that if they give him the bill, he may run away because it's a murder case. It may be frivolous to us, but like what lawyer Fifi Buckman was saying, you know, he, he, we all don't know what the judge took into consideration before he came out with that ruling. So if the if, if superior court, which is higher than the higher court, high court, you know, comes in and they are able to quash it, then we have all the beliefs there. He will not run out. He will not run out. The point should be stated there. 
ni mpano oni ne busuafo won ya botala for good four years this is not a person who are resting one week o no ri jibelo for good years he has been in the state custody my pede ye bia aye na court wa men bela for the police to have the gas the impetus to disregard court one directives mr de aye absolutely no 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 the law anticipated all these things oba shambra ma we budo the law anticipated or it's no kede obiara ebe infringe on somebody's right on that you know that person must be taken on the law anticipated it's a law no or mm. but if you are considering obedient no rights just supposing it with your rights so i wonder what the year was into a bed then i focus our right to take a civil action against whoever committed that heinous a, a infringement of his rights my point is that, that is, what, is there any guarantee crime for the what you call court bill not so review a police from where did that no the court would give an order this is an isolated case as we move on as a state or develop as a state no there may be one or two infringes when it comes up we should be able to correct it that's what i was always talking about the appellate court or justices so when you go to maybe appeal court another supreme court uh, they will be able to give orders like he was saying and that will be marching orders they should go and do this and they will have no no uh, uh, reason to delay it they will be definitely they will have a solution to this and the solution will be that Gregory Afoko should be granted the bill that he has been given by the high court what a lawyer pajja to me that a big mistake in the judges in the court the judiciary why yeah yes also yeah okay there police for manta bail what the mind no so a big mistake the main mistake here uh, mistakes here two institutions see what boom no why yeah on the Greek glory a focal the case you know oh yeah we are the kakra judges no angels they are mortals as jaffet no and they can make mistakes that is why they should be careful that is why we should be human life you should be very careful to criticism you should be very careful so we have criticized them enough they will make the corrections and we move on as a state thank you very much they are human no one can drug war market no one jay yes when you are doing certain work you don't make mistakes and say that you're a human beings you're a human being if you are you are dealing with human life so when you are dealing with human life you should be extra careful and go through the law